All right, today we're going to take a look at the new battle packs uh, available at Walmart. They're exclusive. Uh, these come with uh, different paint apps and a connect diorama. So let's open these up and take a quick look. All right, one thing I should show is the back of the packaging. So this is uh, what it looks like. Uh, so each set comes with two figures, a hero and a villain. And then it comes with a di diorama piece. Each one's different and then they connect. Okay, so here they are, all out of the package. I have uh, the new battle packs figures next to the single carded figures. I'm not gonna go over articulation because uh, they're pretty much the same figures, uh, minus uh, some accessories. So let's start these off one by one. Okay, starting off with the leader, we have Leonardo. And as you can tell from the two different ones, uh, the new battle packs are gonna have like scrapes and cuts, which is uh, very surprising that they added the red marks but I like it. Um, also, I'm not sure if it's just this figure or not, but he has a little bit darker paint around his mouth uh, compared to this one. So it's the same shade of green as far as the skin tone. Like I said, they just added some cuts and bruises uh, to him. Uh, same swords. But it doesn't come with the weapons rack, obviously, just like the Target exclusive six pack. Next, we have up Raphael, the angry one. So here are some of the paint differences on this one. Not as much uh, cuts and bruises that they put on this one. I think they have a missed opportunity, not painting that right there, the indention on his shell. But other than that, it's the same. Again, missing the weapons rack. Uh, one thing to note, um, some of the QC issues out there is that on the single carded figures, the pouch uh, isn't painted. And uh, some of the emblems on the belts are different as well. So pay attention to that when you're purchasing these. But that's Raphael. All right, next we have Michelangelo, the entertainer. So here's some of the paint difference. Now with him, I noticed that the green on the battle pack is darker. Um, so that's the difference between him. Uh, he also has a lot more uh, paint on him as far as uh, scuffs and cuts. So that was different as well. I'm not sure if it's coming off on camera. But I gotta put him a little closer so you can see that he is a shade different, okay? but that's Michelangelo. Okay, here's Donatello, the brains. So uh, one accessory that's different is the headphones. So in the single pack, this one right here, you're gonna get the headphones and in the battle pack, you don't get the headphones. Okay, so that's a difference between the two and accessories besides the weapons rack, like I mentioned in all of them. Um, but Here's what he looks like with all his scuffs and cuts. Uh, he has a pretty big one on his leg. Um, I don't know if I mentioned this, but if I didn't, there is no paint on the back. So they just did the scuffs and cuts on the front of the figure. Okay, so that's your brains, uh, Donatello. Now we're gonna do the villains. Okay, here's Bebop. So you have, by the way, you can tell, you know, the difference on his belly compared to the single carded one. Uh, little odd choices for some of the cuts, like on the shoulder pad. I don't know why he'd have a cut on the shoulder pad or his pant leg right here. Um, but other than that, I do like him. He does come with his uh, weapon accessory, just the one. But that's Bebop. Okay, next we have uh, Rocksteady. Okay, so you have the scrapes on his belly, his arms. A uh, little bit on his hand, okay. Um, his horn 
is darker on this one compared to the single carded one but like i said i don't know if that's just a variation in the packaging um or my son who's been playing with his uh turtle figures uh, kind of wore off some of the paint so not sure if that's going to be consistent with all of them all right next we have leatherhead now this one uh the paint apps just don't come out as good as the other ones uh just because there's not a lot of flesh for them to paint so they put a bunch of the paint on the pants okay and a little bit on the arm so this one i would say is probably the most disappointing out of all of them okay and like i said i'm not going to go over articulation i did that in my last videos uh, i did one for the villains by themselves and i also did one with the turtles by themselves um, unfortunately there's no splinter in these two packs unless they decide to do one uh, later on but next up is going to be superfly okay so here is superfly uh here's another one that had some odd choices on where they put the cuts and scrapes uh, because they put a lot on his chest which is on the clothing when they had a lot of open space to do it a little bit on his arm Maybe because uh, he's a darker color, it wasn't coming out right, but you do see it on the legs here, okay, and the hand. All right, and as a, a lot of you noticed in my video with just the fill-ins, this one was missing his little piece there, uh, but this one is not. So just be wary of that. Now let's take a look at the uh, backdrop diorama. Okay, so here's the first two uh, backdrop diorama sets. Um, I can only fit two in the frame, so that's what I'm gonna do here. But I will show you um, kind of like the detail in these first two. So on the left here, you have the workout um, dojo and gym. And then you have, next to that, you have the skate shop. Now these connect, there's a piece on the back that I didn't want to break off that connects the two sets together up here. They also uh, tab in at the bottom, so they insert together. All right. And then on the back, they have a kickstand. Now Playmates did put an instruction video up on their YouTube. So here's a little thing, you break this off and you can connect it up top here. Um, there, but like I was saying, there's an instruction video on how to do this from Playmates. But I like the detail. Uh, I wish that the that they used a non-glossy cardstock. So that way it make it easier for toy photography so that the light didn't shine off of them as much. But I do like these. They came out great. Okay, the next two is gonna be the pizza restaurant and the auto repair. Uh, again, uh, just wish that these weren't as glossy. But I do like it, I do like the art. Um, if you wanna see a little bit of scale, you can put Mikey here, if I can get him to stand. Melina, um, and then Roxy, huh? All right, here's all four brothers on the diorama set. Let me know what you think. Are you grabbing these? Have you found these? Are you looking for them? Um, to me, I like a little bit of more paint apps, so I do like these gives variety, um, especially for your, you know, your kids for playability. They have the different versions. It's like they just came out of uh, Saving New York on this set. So uh, let me know what you think. We're only one week away from watching uh, Mutant Mayhem. I'm excited. I get to watch it on the 29th. I was able to get the early preview night tickets. So super excited. But have a great day. Thank you for watching.